Hello, do you like pool tweaks? I will show you some pool tweaks that uh, I have used in tournaments without anyone knowing about it. Nobody knew it for years and they were hidden. And I will show it to you. Here I have leg weights. And it is UFC, it's the brand. I found this on eBay. And these are called UFC uh, weights, something like that. You need to check that out. Search, uh, search, search eBay. I don't remember what it, it was called, but make a search for UFC weights, and maybe you will find something. And these weights, uh, I put them uh, first. I'll show you how to put them on. Okay, so now. Uh, uh, let's put it on, okay, like this, you put in your foot, like this, and then you have this weight in front of you, like that, uh, no, don't, ah, don't take it, then you put it, uh, but no, my puppy took my weights, then you put it like this, like that, Wrap it around so it is tight. It is important that the weight is tight. Very important. There are tight weights that don't move around because if it moves around, then you get inconsistency. So now I need my other weight. My puppy is chewing on my weight. No, 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 no. Okay, so now I will put my other weight on, okay? Yeah, so I put my foot in here, put my foot in here, yeah, I move closer so you can see. So now I wrap it around like that and like that and then it is, it is completed. So these are my leg weights, okay, and this improve the game in tournaments tremendously a big difference they are uncomfortable of course if you play a very long tournament uncomfortable but it improves your game so uh, how come nobody knew about these weights it is because i used long pants that were covering this up people just thought i had a really big calves big muscle here in, in the lower half of my legs so nobody knew about it. So this is how it looks like and it improves my game a lot in tournaments. A big secret, this is a big secret now. So you are lucky to see this video. You can, maybe you can make this yourself at home with some weights. But I bought, uh, I bought them from uh, eBay a very long time ago. And with these weights I won uh, many tournaments in a row so now so now i'll show you that uh, you feel more stable in your body you don't move around as easily it is more stable when you stand when you stand yeah it's more stable it, I, I don't move around uh, my my i can't move around as good after I, after i set up the shot i can't make any I can make much, much sideways, sideways movement with my body because I feel more stable. There's more weight here at the bottom of my legs, so I, I, I'm more stable. I can't move to the side as easily. So I, my stroke, my, my stance is not as shaky as it was before with these weights. And this is very important for critical shots like cut shots. So the cut shots are what improved the most. I can cut the balls more accurately with these weights. So, uh, how come I stopped using these weights? It is because I started getting used to these weights. So I only use these weights uh, when I act, when I really need them, and I practice I practice without these weights. That is what I do. And then when I put on the weights. Ah, magic, magic for my aiming, everything is improved, 
uh, but if I keep using these for maybe a week, eventually uh, I get used to them and they, I don't play good anymore. So I, there is not a big boost in my game because I eventually uh, my stroke becomes more shaky because uh, because the weights are helping me, so I don't need to control my body as much because I'm relying on help with, from my weights. But if I practice without these weights, then I control my body, so I focus on my body so that it is straight. Straight and very still. Very, so uh, if I, and, and then when I put on the weights, then I get an extra boost. Extra boost. But if I, Let's say you are in, a, you have a very heavy suit on, maybe 200 pound suit on, then you can't move, you can't move in your suit. So you are very still, even if you try to move. So then when you remove all the weight, then you, you are very shaky, you move all around and your stance is not stable anymore. So if you start with the weight, you need to keep them. Because when you remove the weights, your stance becomes shaky. So that is something you can take advantage, advantage of. So put them on before the tournament, take them off after the tournament. Very important. The worst thing you can do is practice with weights on and then take them off before the tournament. Then of course you lose because your stance is shaky. So first, important, uh, practice without weights on. So you practice to have a very still body, a very good stance, very still body. Uh, and then, then you put on the weights and you improve your game further. It is like steroids. These weights are like steroids that will improve instantly your game. So you use them on uh, right before the tournaments. I always used them only for tournaments, not not practice, only for tournaments, and that that worked very well. That worked the best. And then be, after the tournament, I took them off. So the problem is that the, I I walk to the tournament two hours, two hours back. So four hours with these weights walking like this. Uh, they get very sweaty, sweaty. So you need to wash them and that is, uh, th that takes a lot of time. So I stopped using these weights in tournaments. I didn't win as much, uh, but uh, it was more comfortable to me. So uh, I will share, I share my secret with you anyway. So you can use the weights yourself, even, even though I don't use them anymore in tournaments. I think it is like almost like cheating. So you're hiding your weights in your, uh, inside your pants and you're hiding something really good, something that makes you improve your game and the other players, they don't have that. So you are, it's like you are cheating. So that it felt like I was cheating when I had these, had these weights on. So that is, uh, that is my, my finding. So uh, let's move on to the arm weight. And this one is visible. So what, what it does is, I put it on like this. Yeah, it is a forearm weight. So I put it on. And it is important to have this, uh, this one sticking to the outside and not to the inside because otherwise it touches the table. It is like that. So you have, when, you, when you buy these weights, you have two uh, arm weights. So you pick the one with the one uh, where this uh, sticks to the outside. And also this one sticks to the outside is better. Yeah. And now I'll show you uh, how it looks like. So when, when I step into the shot here, uh, if, you, if the hand is on the rail, it is very good. But, but if, if it's like this, that you need to reach uh, over another ball, th then you can get a foul here, you see. So I don't like that one. That is why I stopped using it. And uh, if you need to make a left-handed shot, 
left handed. I will turn the camera so you can you, so you can see. It will turn the camera. Yeah, like that. So now, uh, if you make a left handed shot here, then then your skill is a lot reduced because it feels very strange to have a weight on your shooting arm. So your skill is reduced by half on for a left-handed shots and that is why I stopped using it. And it's also very heavy. If you chalk between every shot, then you, most people do it with uh, you, their left hand like that. Yeah. And then it becomes very heavy to keep choking and choking the cue. I didn't like that, so. But if you choke with your right hand, put it in a pocket, then it is okay. So uh, I found that uh, I didn't really improve my game that much with this weight. It, it was mostly a distraction for myself and for, for the opponent. The opponent became very nervous. When he, when he saw my arm weight. So that is a very good sharking technique. Very good sharking. To shark the opponent into missing. He actually missed my ball in hand. When, I, when he saw my, my weight. So that was very funny. So it, but it only worked the first time. Because then they got used to it. So it stopped working. So it, it was really funny to see the first time. Uh, the opponent was very shaky, very shaky. He actually dropped the chalk twice. He got the ball in hand, he took the ball, he dropped it on the floor. He was nervous to see this arm weight. So I, I think Earl Strickland, the, the reason why he, he wins with his arm weights is because it distracts the opponent. So that is, I think that is the only reason to have a weight is to distract the opponent. Because it, overall, it doesn't help your game at all. It is only some shots, it improves, of course, like long cut shots. But if you have a shot like this, you will get a foul. It is distracting like that. And also, if you put your arm on the table, it, it is difficult to have a straight arm. You can't have a straight arm with this weight, it is, it is difficult. So you, I found that uh, it works best if you have a bent arm, like that. A bent arm that is resting against the table, you see. Uh, this is, it is very relaxed here, so the weight helps you relax your bridge arm. But it, oh, it is only relaxed if, it is, if it's bent. So if you use a bent arm, then it may improve uh, stability here. But I found that having a straight arm is better for aiming. And if I have a straight arm with this weight, it becomes, I feel, I feel it is shaky here. I feel a lot of tension with this weight. If I have a straight arm, it is best to have a bent arm and be relaxed like that. Very le relaxed. The arm relaxes you if you have a bent arm. But with a straight arm, there is tension and it is not good. Not good at all. So, I removed my arm weight and I played, played it better. I could bl play a longer time. Oh, it feels good now. Less weight, it, it feels very good. I can have a straight arm, no problem. Very relaxed without the weight. And I like, I like without uh, uh, the weight. So I don't like the arm weight. But the, the leg weights are Magic, so that is what I use. I used them before, but not anymore because it, it, it is like cheating. So I don't, I don't want to cheat. I want to play a fair game against the opponent and not use any, any tweaks, any unfair tweaks that they don't know about. So that's the end of my video. Subscribe. I will see you soon. Goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool.